Did you see, I think uh, you did, I sent this over to you. Oh, you sh- I sure did. This yes. latest rant from Stuttering John addressing Anthony Cumia, who we played on this show, talked about how what John was doing is very likely illegal, as he's asking for <laughs> donations, charitable donations, mm-hmm. to fund someone's chemotherapy treatment. And he says, just give the money to me, and I'll, I'll take care of everything on the back end. Don't, don't even worry about it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So that got under John's skin a little bit. In fact, gross. Sure, there is a uh, a tweet he put out where he says uh, a certain <laughs> criminal decided to falsely claim that I was pocketing money from donations I was getting for a friend whose spouse is undergoing chemo. This dope started saying, "Why not a GoFundMe?" Well, stupid. The person wants to remain anonymous. Think before you accuse. Asswipe. <laughs> 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 does John not understand? Does he really not understand that the accusation was? I mean, you guys alluded to that it might not be real or whatever. But even if it is real, right? The illegal part is soliciting donations to something that is not a charity. Correct. Yeah. And think about this: so you're getting income through your PayPal because you're asking for donations, which I would imagine you would obviously claim. The IRS would know about the money that you're you're bringing in. So whether or not you hand that over to somebody else, you have to pay the taxes on that. So he's paying an income tax yeah. on something that he's going to just donate to somebody. Doesn't make any fucking sense at all. Right. Nobody would do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's really stupid. And he's acknowledging, well, I, I don't want to spoil the clip, but he acknowledges that you guys were right in the way that he changes how he yeah. presents. Right, let's let's get right into it. Here we go. <laughs> There's paypal.me slash John Melendez Inc. if you want to donate to the show. That's right, to the show. PayPal.me slash John Melendez, Inc. So already he stopped saying that you're donating towards someone's chemo. All right? He's already yes. changed this. So you're donating to the show when you do the PayPal. Oh, you and idiots super- think I'm doing something wrong? Well, let me change everything about how I <laughs> yeah, do it. and tell you that I wasn't doing anything wrong at all, even though I completely changed what I'm doing. I'll show you. The chat, which are, I know people donated and asked me to give it to the person whose spouse is going through chemo, and that person, who I immediately uh, text, and, you know, and I will be sending the person a check. Well, actually, I I Venmo it to another one of the chatters here, and then they um, and they issue the check. Because Time I- out. Okay, now it's even more convoluted than I thought it was. <laughs> He's getting money through PayPal. He then takes that money, he does the accounting on the back end, and then he Venmos that to another person in his chat room who then decides to write out a check to the person who needs the chemo. Why would that be, John? I hate going to the post office. So I just- he hates going to the post office. This is the guy who said he mailed this person a gift from the guy at the bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember that? Oh, yeah. Right. I, I, he was going to the post office then. And now all of a sudden he hates going to the post office, which, why would you need to mail a check in 2022? You don't have to go to the post office. Yeah, nobody needs to write a check. I love that he thinks that writing a check is an important part of this. Why? No one needs to write a check for anything. Are you suggesting this sounds like a man that might be lying? I I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think he really is this stupid. All right, Mike Geary? I don't All think right, I can fine. be sued for saying Suttering John is stupid, because if he tried to prove that he's not. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah good luck with that case, Popak. <laughs> I have a lot of evidence on my side. <laughs> Holy shit, how convoluted is this? There's Venmo at him. But see, there's a paper trail. There's a Venmo, there's the incoming through the PayPal, and then there's the paper trail. Yeah, but we don't see it. Yeah. Nobody can see it except for you, John. There's a paper trail. <laughs> yeah, right. There is for any transaction, but I'm not in your yeah. bank account, so I don't know. John's paper trail ends in a box propped up with a stick like he's Elmer Fudd. (laughs) Come right into my web, Carl. (laughs) You see? You see? That is why a certain criminal thinks it's okay to accuse me of stealing and suddenly is now saying that I lost all my lawsuits. Well, let's see. This is what he's saying. This is his first argument against Anthony Kubia saying what you're doing is illegal. And then he said, I lost all my lawsuits. Well, let me tell you about the lawsuit I had with Sharon Stone in 1993. Like, 
all my lawsuits, try half. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> try most, <laughs> not all. <laughs> Dummy. Let's see the person who uh, assaulted a very young woman, way too young for him in my opinion, but but he has a criminal record, of course. But um, he's saying that I don't have a paper trail. And he's also saying that the person... He didn't say you don't have a paper trail. He said you can't solicit funds to your private right. PayPal for a charitable cause. Yeah, That's what everyone is saying. He said the paper trail is leading to something illegal. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to save you, John. Yeah, right. It doesn't, uh, what everyone has been pointing out is that, John, stop what you're doing right now <laughs> unless you're actually going to file with the state that this is a charitable donation and all the things you need to do. I think Muttering Jay on uh, Twitter yes. did the research and uh, John, here's what you got to do. You got to register with the state. You got to do this. You got to fill out this form. It's like there's a lot of steps involved. Person <laughs> would be afraid to have the name mentioned if I was to... Sue. No, the person said it was okay if it came to that. So now this pock faced criminal. All right, so he doesn't say Anthony's name, but he makes it very clear who he's talking about with the same insults he's been saying about Anthony for 20 years now. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you guys didn't agree with me when I said it before the show, but there, for some reason there's something funny about Stuttering John re reducing broadcasting legend Anthony Cumia to a criminal. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, you know that Pac face criminal. <laughs> it just makes me. Hey, yeah, Pac face. I mean, that was in. I listened to pretty recently the argument he had with Artie and Anthony, yeah. and he threw out Pac face fifteen times in that argument five years ago, seven years ago. Yeah, it was, it was, was his first go to, and it wasn't. Yeah. Anthony didn't even insult him. <laughs> it was just like that's <laughs> immediately when he goes to. Yeah. All he said oh, you was beat your girlfriend. <laughs> all he said was. Hey, John, we let you use the studio, and we thought maybe you'd, like, drop a tip for the guys who stayed late and, and worked for you and produced your show. Okay, Pac face! Like, no, I don't <laughs> that's not the argument that we're going for. Let me read to you the uh, tweets that may or may not have come from one Anthony Cumia. It says, uh, how many lawsuits is this imbecile going to file at one time? You do know if this fantasy lawsuit ever happened, it won't. <laughs> You'd have to let everyone know who the person we're helping was and supply full accounting of where the money went. Two lies right. you can't confirm. And then he follows that up with, I demand a full accounting of these funds. I still believe he pocketed any and all proceeds. <laughs> so I like what he's doing there because he's like, listen, buddy, if you want to supply the proof, go for it. And if right. you want to do that through a lawsuit, that's fine, too. But why don't you prove to us, since you're the one saying that you're collecting this money and then you're accounting for it on the back end, maybe you can provide the paperwork for it. Your paper trail. The paper how, trail! <laughs> how many times do you think John's lawyers have to use the phrase, I don't understand? I, I don't understand what you mean, why you want to sue this person. How many times do John's attorneys say, shut the fuck up? <laughs> why, why do you keep talking about this? John, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> His attorneys give him a cease and desist. Yeah. <laughs> is continuing to accuse me of pocketing money. Yeah, because it's funny. <laughs> that, that's the funny. This is the thing that John doesn't understand. When we say John's asking for charitable donations and he's pocketing it, that's the right. joke. That's why, but I, that's why people but I enjoy thought, I shows. know on your show, Vinny was kind of like, eh, I don't know if he's necessarily right. doing that. And I think even Anthony was like, listen, I don't know. I don't know if he's pocketing the money. No one but even, knows. Even if he's not, he's going about it in an idiotic right. way. Yeah. So John focuses on the wrong thing here, of course. Now, first of all, anybody who knows me knows that my OCD would never allow me to do something like that, which is why I I don't steal. I just, I can't. I can't. He can't possibly steal money because he has OCD. That's why he can't <laughs> clean his apartment. He can't keep a job. He can't steal. So you think I stole so this? Well, here's a note from my doctor. <laughs> yeah, what, is, what is he talking about? Anyone who it's knows a medical me. condition. <laughs> John, I don't know you at all. And I've documented you lying at least a dozen times now. <laughs> yeah, that's being nice. Bring myself. I don't even take free stuff at hotels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you throwing Why? Gilbert Gottfried under the bus now? <laughs> Listen, I, I could have tons of shampoos, and I don't. I don't even wash my hair. Yeah, clearly. Yes. <laughs> I will never use soap in a hotel, in my home, anywhere you try to give it to me. 
I don't even take free stuff from a hotel. Would that be your go-to if you're trying to explain that you don't steal from people? No. no. I don't take the things they want me to take. Yeah. I will take your money for chemo, but... Someone gave me a swag bag once and I punched him in the face. <laughs> yeah, right. I will not be accepting Don't you these know gifts. I'm a sick man? I have a medical condition. <laughs> Every Christmas I'd punch my mom repeatedly. Yeah. I once made a trip to the North Pole. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. my conscience just wouldn't be able to handle that. That's just me. Well, that's different from been. OCD. Yeah, I know, right? Yes, your conscience is very different than having OCD. The, the, his OCD, because he lays it out in his book, his OCD is he has to take four steps to the toilet and piss at, at yeah. 3 a.m. because he's been drinking all day. And if he takes yeah. five steps, then he has to go back and do it all over again. That's very well, different than, like, and that, that's why I can't steal money. In an interesting way, though, John would be a real hero if he stole, because the odds he's overcoming to try yes, and steal yeah. things, they're insurmountable. <laughs> That's a good point. That would be funny if he's just like, guys, I have good news. I overcame my OCD <laughs> yeah. and pocketed all of the money. <laughs> I've been in a lot of therapy to correct this. And that's why I don't steal stuff. That's why you don't steal stuff, because you'd feel bad about it. Well, okay, well, that's good. I, I guess I am in awe of his stupidity. Yeah. This explanation is not helping him. He's just not, burying himself. Oh, you are the worst at this, dude. <laughs> yeah. Holy so shit. So I asked this. You mentioned Carl at the top of the show that I got into it with uh, KFC, Kevin Clancy on <laughs> yeah, Twitter. Yeah. And he he's so much bigger than me that at a certain point I was wondering, like, you realize by responding, you're only helping me. Like, right. this is this benefits only me that you're responding to this. And so in a different way. John is just giving you and Anthony and guys like that content. Is he? How is he not aware of that? How is he point? not aware of that? Mike, he's talking to an audience who didn't think what he was doing was illegal because they're all <laughs> brain dead idiots. So when he was asking for donations, they're like, here's five bucks towards chemo. Glad I can right. help because they're fucking morons. They don't know the five bucks isn't going to go very far towards chemo treatment. Whatever. You know, you have, a, you have a way of putting things where I really understand them. And now I get it. <laughs> yeah. So it's so funny to me that he goes on his show and has to explain all this stuff because it just makes him look bad. Right. You're exactly right about that, Mike. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. So I would never steal anything. And as far as this person saw oh, John's many losses in lawsuits, well, pock face. Oh, the only, let's see, I sued Sharon Stone. She settled for 30. Okay. She settled. All right. Because her bodyguard with you. <laughs> yeah, her bodyguard hit you and she could afford it. $30,000. That was a win for me. So I'm fun. suing Sirius XM. And, and the first round, uh -huh. yes, we did, in fact, lose. Yeah, with prejudice. <laughs> it was dismissed with prejudice. That's that's losing, all right? That's a big old L in the, well, in the losing column. For the folks at home that haven't heard this, though, you hear a butt there. And Carl is kind yeah. of editing the, the audio in a way where you're like, okay, he lost, but obviously he has a good explanation. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> but then we appealed, yeah, and we... Held oral arguments, and now we'll see what happens. I thought you said it was going to happen because I listened to the oral arguments. You're going to lose. The judges couldn't well, believe the case that Michael Bopak brought to. They're like, wait, what are you even saying? How is this even a case? They were so confused. They're like, I know you're a real attorney. What are you telling us right now? Yeah. Sure, we lost once, but we haven't lost a second time <laughs> yeah. on the same case yet. Wait till we lose twice. <laughs> but it's not a loss yet. And not a loss yet. <laughs> right there. No, it but was. But could you blame me if I did? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you said it was a loss. <laughs> it's not a loss. Yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. You did lose already. You appealed it, <laughs> but it is a loss. It's, and it's an why, uphill like battle. Why, John, why would you think that's a defense of yourself? It's insane. There should be a, every human being, I think, maybe not everyone, but most, have a filter in their minds. They're like, okay, if I bring that up, it's going to make it a lot worse for me. Yeah. John just does not have that. He doesn't. So he brought up Sharon Stone's bodyguard, punched him out, and then they just settled. So I don't think that was a lawsuit. I think that was more of just like, all right, here's 30000 bucks. Go. They on. were in the wrong, yeah. Yeah, exactly. 
And then his second example is, and we're suing Sirius XM, which is the most frivolous of frivolous lawsuits ever, because I didn't care that they were using audio from me from the Howard Stern show in the 90s for 15 years. I didn't say a thing. And then when I had no money, all of a sudden I was like, hey, you can't do that. It's such a ridiculous <laughs> suit. So why don't you keep your gun in a safe place so you don't be caught on video screaming, where the fuck is my gun? And try not to bite, you know, or do whatever you did that got you arrested. I don't know. Can I point this out, too? I, I know that he's obviously doing this for Anthony's sake. And he wants right. Anthony to see this. But yeah. could you imagine being like Benny Loco or one of these fucking dingbats who watch his show, like Andrea Bauer or whatever? And they're just like, what is he talking about? <laughs> Pac face had a gun and there's biting. What is what is going on right now? Well, well, he knows right. what he's doing, I guess. <laughs> You tell well, him, John. Th- here's how, uh, uh, just a brilliant argument by someone, too. Because it's like, yeah, Anthony's a flawed human being. He has his, the, the shit, shit that he's dealt with over the years. Yeah. But that's not an answer to, hey, why are you getting chemo donations and sending them through a third and fourth party to someone? <laughs> this is how John argues. It was the same thing with how he got kicked out of the bar because the bartender said, you know, Joe Biden has dementia. And he goes, what the? Trump also suck. <laughs> You're like, what? That has nothing to do with it at all. So what? <laughs> so what? Yeah. Who cares? What do you mean by that? Anthony Kubia and Iraq both rightfully pointed out that what he's doing is not above board. And John goes, <laughs> yeah, but I think that Iraq got an internship when he was still in high school at a radio station that you had to be in college in order to get. And that, that, that also was a bad thing. So yeah. take that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just trying. I was just trying to remember something that E Rock did. It's the only thing I can think of. What <laughs> <laughs> a perfect boy! And he you is. know, he had to go that far back. I, I know. I don't know. I was watching Opie the other day, oh. and he was saying that. I don't know. This is just him saying. It's of course not me saying that. That you know that you were a racist, and that that's not me. You know. I see what he's doing here. You see what he's doing here? He wants to point out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. wants to accuse Anthony of things without accusing <laughs> Anthony of things. He's Maybe he did consult an attorney because this is pretty clever right here. That's what Opie says. That he says that the great Patrice O'Neill knew that you were a racist. That's what that's what Opie was saying. It's on the video. Yeah, you know what's funny is I was following uh, Muttering Jay on Twitter. And Muttering Jay was saying that you've used racial slurs and all the things that you're accusing me of and wanting to sue Patreon over, all things that you've done. And listen, that's not me saying that. It's just videos that I saw on Twitter that Muttering Jay had posted of you doing all of these things. I, I don't know. <laughs> well, listen, I'm not friends with Anthony the way Carl is. I know you guys are best buddies, but I sure. have listened to him for a long time. And I don't, I cannot imagine that at this point in Anthony's life, someone says, hey, you're a racist. And Anthony's like, what? No, don't let that out. <laughs> <laughs> you're harming my brand, sir. Oh, no, my the ruse I've been pulling on everyone is up. <laughs> Him and Patrice O'Neill got along famously, by the way. I, I, think, I think so, everyone, yeah. Yeah, everyone knows that. It's it's right. ridiculous. So That's what he was saying. I, I, I don't know if it's true. That's what he was saying. So... I, I would, you know, I would stop these false accusations of me saying that I'm somehow stealing cash. Or I'll make from- them of you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> exactly what he's saying. I stop these false accusations of me or I'll say Patrice hated you. You want to break the law on your show? I'll show you. I'll break the law on my show again. <laughs> <laughs> my, my new show is called Driving While Intoxicated. It's where I drive around after I've been drinking all day and I, I videotape it. I'll As show if you, you are perfect. <laughs> Someone whose spouse is going through chemo, okay? I would maybe not. I would. You should really consult your attorney. It might not be a smart thing to accuse somebody of things when I have a paper trail. This person has the paper trail, and the other person also has the paper trail, who is also in this chat. Free paper Holy trail. shit. John's explanation for, well, you got to at least show us the accounting if you're going to do this. It's like, there's two other people who have the accounting. What else do you need? What do you mean? And this is not yeah, very good for the you. environment, all this paper. <laughs> yeah, this is bad. I know. <laughs> That's a lot of paper John's using. <laughs> <laughs> I think he beats paperwork, right? I guess. 
Fuck. <laughs> this is so convoluted. <sighs> NFTs are easier to understand than what John's yeah. explaining right now. <laughs> Ethereum makes way more sense to me than what John is trying to explain right now with this PayPal to Venmo to check writing to mailing to paper trail to chemo. John's paper trail is a corn maze. No one can think, no one can get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> the kids love my paper trail every October. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That being said, yeah. I've already talked to the person who I sent the mini iPad to, and I, <laughs> I thought this person was going <laughs> undergoing chemo treatment. They needed a mini iPad. <laughs> yes, well, this is the best medicine. <laughs> 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 what? Hold on, I gotta back that up. What? This person has the paper trail, and the other person also <laughs> has the paper trail. Who is? You know, what's his name? So and what's your specific. lips? <laughs> Don't dox people, John. <laughs> yeah. John. Yeah, John, why would anyone question what you're doing? Yeah. This person has the paper trail, and this other person has the paper if trail. If you think I'm lying, ask John Doe if I'm lying. <laughs> yeah. such a straight. Yeah. I could watch this video all day. <laughs> <laughs> why don't we just do this today? <laughs> Holy shit. Maybe he's also, thinking, maybe he's thinking like, that they're on to me. Maybe if I bore the shit out of them, <laughs> they'll leave me alone. I saw this on the episode of Columbo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just 18 more things. Uh, uh, what up, God? Jesus. <laughs> if you'll just shut up, we will also. <laughs> In this chat. That being said, I've already talked to the person who I sent the mini iPad to, and I... And I then mowed the first payment. And I what do they have an Amazon wish list? I thought yeah. this was a person who had cancer. And now you're just getting them toys? You think you got my back against the wall? I've already bribed everyone involved. <laughs> so nice try. <laughs> <laughs> I paid off the jury and I gave them all mini iPads as well. And mini soaps and shampoos from the. Oh. I've said too much. <laughs> Which I paid for. Yeah. <laughs> that hotel excuse. I hope he uses that one in court. Yeah. <laughs> Who I sent the mini iPad to, and I and I then mowed the first payment, and I will send the next one out on the first, even though I don't get paid from uh, YouTube to the twenty first, but I'll still do it anyway. Wow. Excuse me. If he has done nothing wrong, why does he have to explain all this? Correct. Yeah. And and why is <laughs> he taking credit for sending a payment 21 days before he gets the money when we know John's so desperate for cash flow? Like cash flow is a real issue with this guy. Yeah. He has said many times in his show, I need everyone to send the super chest because, as you know, I don't get the money from pay from YouTube until the 21st. So I really need everyone and the Shipping Facebook stars, don't forget the Facebook stars. Yeah, those, those Facebook no. pricks are not. Or just throw stars. pennies like other people do. <laughs> I think I, I think it all sounds very natural. You don't remember the famous Howard Stern segment when he told you when he got his checks in the mail? <laughs> this is when I got paid each month. <laughs> so this person could have, could have the money and could put it towards what they need. But, um, yeah, there's a paper trail, dummy. And this person wouldn't mind me saying this person's name if I choose to sue. Now, I don't know how much money you have left on that failed channel of yours. Compound Media is a failed channel now? <laughs> how long has it been around for? Eight years? Compound Media? Well, that, I think they just celebrated their eighth anniversary. That's an old radio technique, just to say, uh, yeah. oh, your show is failing, you know? Yeah, your show. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's obviously my, defunct. Yeah. My thing is so let's say, because listen, the guys like me and Vinny, we believe that John is telling the truth because we don't have the law team that Carl does. <laughs> but, <laughs> sure. But, uh, like, so if I, let's say I were doing this, let's say a friend came to me and said, I need some financial help. Can you throw it on your show? Anything will help. I just don't want my name out there. Right. I would say, listen, that's going to be a lot of trouble <laughs> yeah. because it's going to sound like I'm lying. <laughs> yeah. John never has that thought. Like, he should be going to you saying, hey, guys, I know this is weird. Yeah. 
but uh, you got to help this person out. If you don't trust me, I totally understand. John doesn't have an ounce of that for some reason. Also, what he said was the only reason why he asked for his PayPal is because the person wanted to remain anonymous. When you set up a GoFundMe, you don't have to give the person social security number. Like right. they, can, they can still be anonymous, right. even with a GoFundMe set up. But you don't, have to, you don't have to put that information out to everyone. So that doesn't even yes, make sense. Can I put that directly into my bank account? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I don't even know if it's worth suing you. So we'll see what happens. I, th- holy shit. That's crazy. John, John's going, I don't even know if you have enough money. It's worth it for me to sue you, John. Yeah. Trust me. Anthony has enough money that if you actually <laughs> had a lawsuit, you should go through with it. <laughs> I just bought a multi-million dollar house in South Carolina. I think you should go through. I mean, you're talking about my house and Shuey's house? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, trust me. You, you should go through with it, John. <laughs> I've got a lot on my plate. I'm not sure this lawsuit is even frivolous <laughs> enough for me. <laughs> I'm a busy man. But I just shut your fucking mouth is what I'm saying. Oh. Yeah. I would just shut your fucking mouth. Okay. <laughs> what, why is it? Now it's tough guy, John. I love yeah. this transition. It went from, I did nothing wrong. You guys, you're a criminal. I've done nothing wrong. And now it's, and shut your fucking mouth. I'm coming oh, after you, <laughs> pock face. <laughs> John, you don't intimidate anybody. You're not a scary guy. You're like five foot eight. You're overweight. You're out of shape. You get winded from washing your dishes, John. No one's afraid of you. Not a single person on earth. It seems like maybe someone told him to like cut the bullshit, but it seems like that's where he would have inserted like, I have some friends in New York that might yeah. take care of you. Yeah. You better get to South Carolina quick, pal. Yeah, he even said on a show like a year or two ago. You know, if Anthony didn't have so many guns, what? John, what, yeah. what would you do if Anthony didn't have so many guns? I'd- also, is Anthony going to murder you in cold blood, John? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> you can have a conversation with the guy. <laughs> Just a little advice, you pock face prick. Jesus <laughs> now, I love when John's giving advice. Yeah. Uh, I, actually, I don't know. Anthony's somewhat more successful than you are, John. Maybe he should be the one doling out the advice in, in this scenario. I don't know. I, I would like to see point counterpoint. <laughs> now let's get on with the show. Sorry about that little uh, uh, rant. But it was, of course, I don't like people slandering me <laughs> and, and questioning my character. Because I don't. I would never steal from a charity like. Oh, did he just admit that it was a charity? Uh, oh, <laughs> I should have used the C no, word there. John, if you listened to the advice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. So fast forward four more minutes into this episode. And okay. Benny Loco is donating money to John. And this tells you all you need to know about whether or not John realized what he was doing was not a good idea. Benny Loco, thanks for the 10 bucks. Fuck cancer, I agree with you. But please, no super chats to any of the cancer things because... Yeah, <laughs> you see how he's changed that really quick? It's like, I did nothing wrong, and now I'm doing everything differently. Yeah, why is he yes. Eric quoting cancer? Yeah, 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 Could you do me a favor and don't write the word cancer when you give me money? Because <laughs> I, I would assume. like to use Super Chat to display how right I was by you not donating to it. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, this gets even better. Check this out. Because this is what I was talking about. Like, I don't think Stuttering John can use a spreadsheet. I don't think he knows how Excel works. He can't use a okay. sheet. I, I, I would love... <laughs> I got a trail of sheets. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that he's sitting there going, I don't know why you guys would think that I wouldn't be able to figure out what money to give to this person. Like, obviously, I don't know what kind of accounting software he thinks he's using, but he does say this. I can't, you know, you know, it's just, it's. I can't sit and compute. Well, they take 30%. It, just, you know, and I, and all the people trying to get me in trouble, I guess they say it's illegal. Uh, <laughs> We're not even trying to get you in trouble. We're actually, it's just for the content of our shows. It's yeah. funny that you're an idiot and you're doing something illegal. <laughs> he does the show you know, by himself. People tell he's... me stop embezzling. <laughs> <laughs> I you know, guess guys it's are, illegal. These guys are telling me that laundering money is a no-no, yeah. I, so I guess I'm not doing that anymore. 
Oh, God. I, I loved because that was one of the points that people made. Like, YouTube takes 30% of the money. So people are donating $4.99. Mm-hmm. And then they're saying, okay, a portion of this goes to your laptop, another portion. I don't think you could figure that out with a calculator. How much money to give to Kimo based on, oh, fuck, 30%. And then it was $2, <laughs> but now that's uh, $1.40. So, uh... <laughs> Which, again, that's why people were, like, obviously people are shitting on him to some extent. But yeah. some people were genuinely being helpful by saying, John, if this is for cancer... You're not giving them the most money. These right. these places are taking money from this cancer patient you claim to know. Right, right. Uh, you know, so just, you know, at this point, just, you know, donate to the show if you want. But thank you there, Benny. You know who who the person is. If you want to donate, you can donate directly to that person. Oh, what? Now we can How? donate directly to the person? Interesting. <laughs> that changed. Here is all the information of the anonymous person. <laughs> <laughs> the PayPal happens to be the exact same as mine. It's just a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> what are the chances I know? <laughs> Juan Melendez. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Last clip I have from Stuttering John. And, and so what's been going on here is somebody's pretending to be my wife. I'll, I'll just say it like that. Okay. And uh, I guess they've been DMing with John or some type of, some way they've been <laughs> communicating. And John, I think, is getting very excited about this because. Did you get Manti Teo'd by Jenny Jingles? Yes, because <laughs> what's going on is that this person is saying, You're right. My husband is a racist and he's obsessed with you and Opie. And he cheated on me, and I'm leaving him. It's all the stuff John wants to hear. And what does John do when he hears what he wants to hear? He laps it up. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> loves it. So this is um, this person then on his uh, his chat during the show. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, wow, this is interesting. I would love it. I'd like to come on your show one day and tell all. Anytime. Anytime. I would welcome that. All right, right. John, with the risk of Vic getting upset with me, you're such a fucking boob. <laughs> do you really think, do you really think that my wife is now like a fan of yours and wants to come on your show and do a tell-all? Is She's been I, wooed by all the clips you've played. It's worked against you, <laughs> yeah. smart guy. Is that like this is going to play out in the end? He's intoxicated <laughs> by the attention from anybody. Really. I know. I know. He's such an well, idiot. Well, also to think, let's say in some world your wife does decide to do that. Is a live YouTube chat the forum she would use to be like, hey, I'm leaving my husband? Yeah, good point. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> it just seems so like he doesn't think these things through. And I do want to say this. I have been trying just to ignore it all, but... People that I know and love don't like to be doxxed or have fake accounts out there communicating with people and pretending they're someone. Cut it out. Yeah. All right? right. If you're a fan of the show and you're pretending to be me or anyone who's part of the show, fucking stop it. Yeah. Are, it, you, I, not, are you, by the way, are you producer Chris on Reddit? Because I don't even know. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, you're not producer Chris WATP on Reddit. No. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. Guys, it's it's all fun and games, but fucking yeah. it's not helping anyone. What's that asshole been saying? <laughs> it's not helping anyone <laughs> when you're doing this shit. There was, a, there was a fake blind mic on Twitter that had like pretty much the same handle as me and used my picture and everything. Yeah. And I just like blocked them because I was like, I don't want to deal with this person. Right. And they messaged me through a different account. Like, hey, why'd you block me? And I was <laughs> yeah. like, oh, so this person is like being, they think they're being nice. Yeah. They, they just think, don't get You think you're friends. It's like, yeah. well, no, this is not good. You're not helping me at all. Who are these podcasts? W-A-T-P.